famous South Africa first princess Ramona Mudley will be representing the country at this year's Miss World pageant. When we received our invitation to the grand farewell, we had to don our best attire and make our way over. Every year, a group of beauties go head to head on a journey where one of them will ultimately be crowned Miss South Africa. But the honor of representing us at the Miss World pageant belongs to yet another gorgeous bombshell, Miss South Africa first princess, Ramona Moodley. Ramona Moodley is no stranger to pageants and held the title of first princess for Miss S18 in 2006 and was crowned Miss India South Africa in 2005. Ramona, I guess the first question everyone wants to know is what was your reaction when you found out that you'd be representing South Africa in the Miss World pageant? I got the call. I was absolutely elated. This funny feeling built up in my tummy and then it jumped up and down. I was at work when I found out and people thought I was a little crazy. <laughs> and the first princess is... Ramona Moodley! Now, you're pretty smart, right? You're a smart cookie. Let's just be honest. I hope Top so. Top two percentile of the country's smartest. What makes an engineering graduate enter pageant? <laughs> I think it's always great to have um, something unexpected about you as a person. People who are predictable are quite boring. <laughs> so it makes me distinctive. I think that engineering has really helped me in the pageant world by making me a great problem solver. And pageants has helped me in my engineering degree because it makes me different. People want female engineers. And female engineers that are in pageants, great plus. There's a big emphasis placed on what the girls wear at these international pageants. We thought we'd go very princessy for the final event. And then there's a pre-event, the designer competition, where I'm going to go more sexy. And that's addressed by JJ Skuman. So we just want to show more versatility. I thought the turquoise really offsets her personality. It looks amazing. I use three different shades of turquoises. Uh, using soft imported silks, silk chiffons and Swarovski crystals, I thought it was a perfect masterpiece for her. I take comfort in knowing that my whole country is behind me when I will be on that stage in Mongolia. Miss World's very different to Miss Universe. Miss World, you're looking for beauty with a purpose. What charity work has she done? How was she involved in her country? It's still focused on beauty. Obviously, it's a beauty pageant. But a lot more intention is placed on who are you as a person. They want someone that's very sweet but very sophisticated still. She oozes almost Grace Kelly qualities, and I think that's definitely something that will lock the crown for her. So what is Ramona to expect when she heads off to China? It's difficult. It's competitive. After the first two weeks, you realize the girls who are just kind of going there for fun because they realize there is just no chance. Shame, it's quite sad. <laughs> it's quite a huge challenge and that's what a lot of people don't actually realize that it's big. There's a misconception out there that in the world of pageantry, it's so competitive that the young ladies actually don't get along at all, you know? So going into Miss World, are you a bit nervous as to what the other 119 girls are going to be like? I think I'll just stay away from any of the cattiness and just kind of go towards the friendly people. What can you tell South Africans about Ramona that they don't know? She's an extremely intelligent woman. She's very intelligent. I know that she's a member of Mensa. She's probably one of the most intelligent girls I'll ever know in my life. I wake up every morning thinking this is a dream. And then my email starts going crazy and then I realize it's real. <laughs> she has everything that Miss World wants. Her beauty, her intelligence, her body, everything. She's a full package. She's got beauty and the intelligence and the style, the figure, the body. I would never have considered even sending her if I didn't really believe that she can win this because I think that we need someone that can really go and push the envelope and that's not going to hold back and that's going to go for the win. For South Africans out there watching that don't really know Ramona Moodley, what's the one thing that you want them to know about you? I want them to know that I'm a normal person at the end of the day. I'm a fellow South African. I'm not a queen. I'm not a princess. I'm just a normal person. In our eyes, you are the queen. Congratulations. We wish you all the best of luck. Bring it home. It's been, what, 30 years? Yeah. It's about time. <laughs> and of course, have you brushed up on your Mandarin? 
Oh no, <laughs> Bridget. <laughs>